This is a view of Queensland's Coolum Beach, Sunshine Coast region. This is a live webcam available on the swellnet.com website. And this is looking north for one of the uh, residential tourist uh, places on the Sunshine Coast. However, shortly we'll have a look at the life of Tropical Cyclone Hona, which remains a Category 4 system, but is struggling at this point in time. Tropical Cyclone Hona continues to impact Vanuatu and New Caledonia. Vanuatu Med Service, they continue to update every three hours. The uh, Fiji Med Service, uh, some of their information hasn't been updated. So we're going to focus on the information from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre and the Venua to Met Service. And as mentioned, this is the life of the tropical cyclone up to a few hours ago. Now here's the current track chart from the JTWC and looking at the cone of uncertainty it looks like the cone has shifted slightly to the west but possible threat remains for New Zealand. Now here's the latest. Uh, the cyclone is located near 17.7 degrees south, 165.4 degrees east. Uh, movement over the last six hours, 180 degrees at one knot. And maximum sustained winds at 95, gusting 115. Venuatu 2 has it moving west southwest at three knots. And is located 166 nautical miles west of Port of Vien and Venuati. Information indicates that it will probably uh, track uh, parallel to Venuati. And the JTWC is indicating southward at one knot. It has lost its eye feature. Environmental analysis shows the cyclone is experiencing a moderate 50 to 20 knots of vertical wind shear. And wind shear isn't looking healthy, especially to its south, but upper level divergence aloft of the cyclone is a very healthy 50 knots. And looking at this image, we track across west into the Gulf of Carpentaria where uh, whilst we haven't uh, been paying much attention uh, to that invest, it's 98p. Here's the uh, current wind shear. The red is unfavourable, yellow neutral and the green is favourable. So quite a bit of red and the 24 hour shear tendency as mentioned tropical systems of the area in blue and a bit of the green but the yellow and red very unfriendly and I think it is going to struggle. Now the 850 minibar vorticity, the low pressure system over the North Island of New Zealand is uh, moving away however you can clearly see Tropical Cyclone Honor 
and if this 98p uh, over there in the uh, Queensland's Gulf of Carpentaria now here's a look at a NOAA floater uh, NOAA is having uh, issues with the uh, floaters and you can see the screen is fluctuating but it's not as healthy as what it was yesterday even though it's maintaining, uh, maintaining the intensity but it's lost its eye here's a couple of uh, tracks available on the Tropical Tidbits uh, website Sea surface temperature remains favourable for development 29 to 30 degrees Celsius. Now we look at the GFS uh, total accumulated uh, rainfall. The rainfall scale is the bottom of the screen. It's the area in yellow and dark brown. And considering that I'm here on the east coast of Australia, the Bureau of Meteorology continues to update and issue new uh, warnings. We have uh, severe weather activity uh, here in the state of Queensland and we are also keeping an eye on the Coal Sea when viewing non-official uh, weather uh, sources caution needs to be applied. Are we going to see a couple more uh, tropical systems come on the radar within the next few days? Now, what does one say about the latest uh, tropical cyclone formation probability guide? Indian Ocean area where tropical cyclone Pam formed uh, to the uh, northeast of the Solomon Islands the Gulf of Carpentaria. This is the NCEP GEFS uh, spaghetti uh, model, uh, the plot on Holla. Uh, Joy Typhoon Warning Center, sea wave height is 26 feet and the Himawari 8 satellite view. Areas of interest is the uh, cyclone and the Gulf of Carpentaria and possibly uh, something in the uh, coal sea in coming days. Most likely in the uh, Solomon Island region. We will continue to bring updated information. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, which has had a revamp and is still under reconstruction, but take a look. Also, YouTube, of course, if you haven't subscribed, that might be a good idea. Visit Force 13. We're also on Facebook under the same name, of course, and you can like us on there, and you can also follow us on Twitter. Search Force 13 all in text for those. You can also add Force 13 on Skype or my personal account on Discord, Fool 13 at extension 9094.